Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back in Fallout 4, and yep, you guessed it, we're looking at another mod on this fantastically awesome game. And today we're going to do a bit of building, because we've not really covered building too much. We touched on it a little bit in previous videos. And the mod we're looking at is Decoration and Furniture Expansion Pack, or DFEP for short. And it adds a bunch of new features for you to build in your settlements. Uh, it includes stuff from like the Institute, uh, pre-war stuff, and quite a lot of it is items that are already in-game, but it gives it more of a fresh look. So I'm going to fire up the last save where we were, which was in the slog, and we can see what we can build. Here we are in the slog, and I've actually finished my sign for the slog which I started a while back even before I started recording stuff for a pizza gaming and it was just an S and an L I didn't have the O and the G but I finished that the other day yeah Nick you can appreciate that all you like mate I built it you ain't getting any credit good luck uh, yeah so it was the S and the L and I think the settlers here were probably thinking, oh, he's going to add a U and a T to that, and he's going to be a filthy fecker. But no, that wasn't the case. And where you find decorations, furnitures, expansion pack, or DFEP for sure, is right at the very end of the construction list. So let's open that up. First category we come to is structures and platforms. And my God, that is bigger than my actual fucking house. Look at it. It's just fucking huge. It's fucking huge. It's like it's bigger than the actual building. Look. And, you, and apparently you can plant it back, back. You can plant it smack bang in the middle of it. Oh, fuck me. That is a beast. Problem is, how am I going to get up there? I didn't think of that, did I? Shit. Can I jump on the slog sign and get to it that way? I... No. Oh, it's not possible. Oh, let's stop dicking around. Can... Can we fit it here somewhere? Yeah? If I rotate it a little bit, hold on. Yeah. There we go. And already the first thing you can build is quite awesome. It's nice like structure platform thing. And I think you can add to it as well. Should be other little pieces to add to it. Like catwalks and stuff. This other one. This other platform's more like a gate entrance. But let's add on. Is it going to click? Oh, that's it in it. That's what I wanted. In that way. Yeah, it. If you get it in the right position, it will click. I reckon. There you go. Can I build it over this tree? Yes, I can. If I get it right. Uh, uh, no. Right, scrap you. Sorry, but you were... I swear that just appeared. Sorry. But you were in my there. Rotate it a bit. Another bit of platform. Lovely. So yeah, you'll just keep going along. Building platforms. There's a nice little piece you can add there. I guess if you want to... Use it for cover, firing from up high. Some stairs, if you want to get down from a different position. Like that. So there. Dun, dun, dun. Now we've got a nice little platform already. From Debbie Doozy. And we also have a fuck off massive helipad, which will not fit anywhere in the slog. 
because the slog is a bit too crowded. Next up in the list is industrial and we'll travel somewhere different for that. And here we are at the lovely sun sh sun sh sun 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 and here we are at the lovely sunshine tidings co-op and no this isn't your local co-op where you can get potatoes and your bread and milk and your tea bags no this is the co-op that usually gets attacked by fucking death claws hi and as in the last video death claws always try to steal the show but I always put them in their place and turn them to ash. So, go fuck yourself. Right, put the weapon away. And let's look at the factory stuff. And, and for your industrial stuff, you have a bunch of machines that look like this. Big brown looking things. Oh, the sun shines through it really nicely. Like it. Uh, one of them over here. So we're essentially turning Sunshine 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 Tidings Co-op into a big fucking factory. You have a giant I thought that was a crane then. Nope, you have a power looking thing. Put it down the roof. No. Oh, they've been cool up there. Got this thing. Yeah. Might place another one. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. Another industrial thing here. Put that in the middle. There. Like a funnel, industrial. Bonk. 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 Uh, crate looking thing. Put that kind of there. Looks like a skip. Industrial machine. There kind of thing. Another industrial machine. I'll put some supports around. We can put this archway there mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and put one on the other side. Matchy, matchy. Yeah, that ghoul's been there since like the start of the. Yeah, that ghoul's been there since like the very beginning, since I ever first came to this settlement, and he's never despawned. He's just always hanging out on the chair. Just reminds me of like this drunk person, really. He's just the village drunk. He's like, oh, hi. I'm constantly pissed. Never gonna do spawn. I put this up here. Oh, I can. If I jump. If I jump. There you go. And jump for this one. There you go. Jump for this one. No. Oh, you did it for the other one, you smeghead. Come on. Hold on. No. No, fuck it. Yes, yeah, so that was the industrial stuff. Uh, we've given Sunshine Tidings. Sunshine Tidings. Sunshine Tidings Co op a little more of a industrial look. And the last thing we've got to look at in this category was the miscellaneous. Yeah, and this is stuff like concrete blocks and 
stairs and walls you can build for those little extra touches and the cages they're quite interesting if you haven't got any pets or animals you want to keep or people containers too if you want to give it a bit of a port feel if that makes sense oh, it's weird that doesn't stack oh okay it does stack you just have to have it bang on top like that which is weird uh muddy crate whatever that is oh, little fat man crates too Go guys, you've got some weapons now. Look at the top one. And an individual sandbag that you can there you go, an individual sandbag that you can put under your bed. Give the monster under your bed a little pillow, there you go. Sandbags, so fortified defences on the border. Tyres. There you go, put that in the middle of the fire. Yeah, that was quite cool. Another bit of tyre there. An actual tyre wall. Oh, that's not going to go on top of there. That sucks. A mausoleum. Because, you know, why not? It's a bit random. Mausoleum. Now we can go on to the next category, furniture, and get into some interior decorating. Uh, they've made some of the stuff from the Institute, so that's quite cool. Institute child bed. Oh, I can't see Jack shit. You can put it there. You want a cryo pod or med bay, whatever. It's just a shame we can't build in these bits here. Where the stairs go, that'd be quite cool. There you go. Med bay in the children's play area, because why not? Uh, bed that looks like a fucking speeder from Star Wars. More institute beds, pre war double bed. Uh, there's a lot of these items that they've redone. Uh, but they've pimped them up, so to speak, or no, they've refurbished them. You've got a lot of furniture that's already in the game, where it's got that rustic, tatty look, obviously knackered look, like that Jeep, but they've redone it so it looks nice and fresh and new. Oh, Natabloods. Oh, planters. Yeah, why not? Gonna get a bit of gardening doing. There's a garden area in a slog if I remember. Yeah, it was over here. So here you go guys. You can have this for your plants. Have these. And a one there. And a one there. Industrial tables, what are little fold out tables, they're quite fancy. Institute cabinet, looks like a space fridge. Cafe counter, 
Nice. See, all these are pretty cool if you want to make a cafe build. Or restaurant for your settlers to eat in. Uh, Commonwealth table. That looks like a fucking hot tub. I guess that kind of suits the slog, doesn't it? Where do you want the Where do you want the hot tub, guys? Bigger hot tub. Ooh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a weird table. Double bar. Oh, the patio tables that are like here, but. I've refreshed them. So let's just move. Move. So let's just get rid of that one. And you can have a nice fresh one. Straight off the bat. Your drinks are really nice. And a little, little double bench too. That's quite cool. And uh, the seating. If you want to set up some benches. She's long. Very nice. Very posh. Anyone want a she's long? Little diner seats too. Little chairs. Whoa, institute bench. Uh, bench looks more like a little trolley. Little one there. Memory lounger, that's fucking weird. So plug that into the wall. Plug that into the generator. Uh, and then you've got these patio chairs that are basically refurbed versions of these chairs here. Except they're much fresher. So we're just going to upgrade these. Ah, uh, we don't want these skanky old chairs. You didn't hang around, wise man. He's like, oh yeah, I'll just test it out. They're good. Good. Wise man. Was it comfy? Fucking ignore me. Your chick here, bastard. Nice red chairs, these are cool. Footstool. Stone benches, nice. Few vault benches. And then we have a bunch of containers, like lockers. Little blue filing cabinets, orange. Nice little cabinet there, little cash register. If you want to set up like a little shop build. Desks. Desk, desk, desk. Dresser. Wise man. Container. Sorry. Dresser. Institute ammo box. Is that a fucking tiny small ass trash can dresser ammo boxes <laughs> changing table duffel bag filing cabinets first aid kits more lockers even the mailboxes newsstands a refrigerator wet bar Steamer trunk, tool case, trunks, all the vault trunks, but I think all of these are just, uh, what do you call it, these are all just for show basically, I don't think you can store anything in them, I might be wrong, I was hoping you could stack it as well, but I don't think you can, 
fish we just test no random shit so yeah, I just test oh no you can you can store stuff in it how awesome and then near the end of the furniture category you've got the miscellaneous which is a bunch of stuff like bathroom stools dryers hollow tape players mailboxes your ovens your fridges showers so anything for like a little sims build if you want a bit of simming in fallout which I, which i am really enjoying what they've implemented into fallout now which you could never do before which i really really enjoy you can actually make these settlements your own and you can make well it's not you can make Fallout 4 more of a personal experience, which is fantastic of any game. Next category, decorations. Flags. You've got the USA flagpole, Minutemen flagpole, Brotherhood Institute, Railroad, uh, smaller versions of the flags, rugs and mats, a few little designs there. Not bad. Nice right. flowery one. Uh, graveyard. That's quite cool. So if you want to build for, for anyone who wants a graveyard build, you've got your coffins, your tombstones. All different designs. Some are broken. Give it more of an authentic feel. Institute. Really tiny things that you can just place. Like that. Eye examiner. Uh, yep. If you want to go on there. Ooh. Camcorder. Yeah, why not? Dome cover, which is for that. You should put that down first, and then you get this, and you put it there. That isn't even. What the fuck? You mong. Let's try it again. Can I pick this up? I can. Right, let's put it there. There you go. Still not fucking straight. God fucking damn it. There. No, still not straight. There. No, that was absolutely straight. I'll give up, whatever. And then you've got your consoles, all your pretty flashy lights. Ooh, fancy. Very cool. Your consoles, your control panels. Mm. Oh, hello. I'm on a bank. It's got a very futuristic chandelier. It's gonna. Oh, yeah, it will fit. Just a bit glitched out. It looks so out of place in this shack though, it's unbelievable. Reclamation chair. What the fuck's a reclamation chair? Whatever it is, it looks like it's painful. Look at these fucking spikes, man. Damn painful. Damn, son. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I don't know what a reclamation chair is, but fucking hell, it looks like a torture device. Look at it. Ow. And a shower. Oh, there's vault decks too. Consoles. Rad scanner. That's just rad. Oh, is that it? 
It's only like three. Decorations for the lounge. Little pots, lamps. Free wall fireplace. Vases, beers. However you pronounce it, whatever. Free wall jukebox, nice. Speaker. Looks like a person robot with a face. Another one. Bedroom. Little alarm clock so you can place. Pillow. Suit. Oh, these are like, yeah, just decoration suits. The kitchen and dining. Cafeteria trays. Cake pans. Espresso machines. Cafe dispensers. Sneeze God? Oh fuck, it's like they knew we were going to have the corona pandemic. It's really funny. Lunchbox, classic. Plates. Little mugs, coffee pots, all these little intricate things I've added. To, you, I give you a really, really detailed build that you guys want to. All these little utensils from your pots and your pans to your cups, your little tables, saucers, all that stuff to give you a really awesome, unique build. Really intricate build. Your bucket, enamel buckets, your carts, one of them. Yes, that kind of suits this area. Look down in the farming area. Floor jacks, garage diagnostic cart, industrial cart, <laughs> ladder, little one, plastic boxes, your tool racks, two. That's quite Cool, let me put that on the side there. On there as well, perfect. And they even have office decorations too, like your little standard cardboard boxes. Your office files there. Vault boxes, they're quite cool. And that vault tech. 10 volt suits. Camera. Pre-war desk fan, pre-war trash can. Tilly blue. Roll deck calling. Typewriters, terminals, desk lamps, micro fish, micro fish machine, whatever the that means. More terminals, stand terminals, science and medicals, biometric scanner, Ooh, your gurneys, oxygen tanks, scanner consoles, wheelchair. <laughs> Mama Murphy, here you go, wheelchair for you. I'll put that near you. There you go. Don't say I don't ever give you nothing. Give you enough bloody jet. Giving you some wheels too. Oh, these look quite cool. Boat winches, crane, look at that. I love big pieces of, I was gonna say furniture. I love big pieces of crane. Quote, quote me on that, put it on a t-shirt. That looks cool. Yeah, liking that. Liking the cranes. I'm put another one up somewhere. Got to put another crane up somewhere. Uh, there. Nice. <laughs> Drive-through speakers. Barbecues. Oh, as soon as I get the barbecue out, it rains. Yeah, you can tell I'm in the UK, can't you? Bubbles for days, son. Dock moorings. Playground geodome. She's like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? 
Saucer slide. I know there's a fucking UFO. Lame. Swing set. That is fucked. Saucer point. Sign. What's that got on it? Road works ahead. Well, yeah, I sure hope it does. Why can't I put this in the fucking ground? Get in the fucking... Ah! I had it then, there you go. Sorry guys, there will be some construction. Wait, what? So, they give you... They've given us the battered version, or the funky fresh version. Or the version with a few sunbags on the bottom. Like the dedication guys, like it. Utility poles. Oh, they're quite cool. I might add a few of them around. Sanctuary. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Rail barriers. Bottle cap. My. God, that is the tiniest thing I've ever seen. Look at it, like a little fucking bug. Look, like, don't squish me. <laughs> you bastard. So that was annoying. Bowling pool returns, pins. Boxing ring? Oh, that's cool. So if you actually want to set up a fight between your settlers, just pick up a boxing ring. There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Giddy up, buttercup. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Just hanging out in the middle of sanctuary. Food paste machine. <laughs> For all your food paste needs. Uh, plants. Oh, we're not enough to plant shit, though. Fuck. Shopping basket, we want to go to Tesco. Shopping cart. People leaving their fucking shopping carts around, bastards. Video camera, if you want to set up a te television studio. Wooden barrel, wooden barrels. Wooden barrels for a little donkey con. Wooden crates. Microphone. Very oh, nice, very really nice. So yeah, that was the decorations. Now we move on the landscaping. We had quite a few different things in the decorations. That was quite nice. Very nice, very good variety there. And now we can get down to some landscaping. Like trees and like bushes. And the good difference with these is they're actually green. And they're not all shriveled up and dead and brown. So let's make Sanctuary look a lot more fresh. Place a tree there, place one there. Put one there. Pop one there. A few smaller trees. shrubs to really spruce up the outside put a few ferns around bush somewhere. Looking fresh, looking good. Mm. 
Let me get a little wall hedge there. One of these. And you can see already by putting a few bits of greenery down, it's already spruced up sanctuary. Some nice fresh trees, some nice fresh bushes. And there's also a variety of rocks you can have if you want to build a rockery. Gonna make a little alcove quickly. So yeah, you've made a little custom area. I wasn't there before. Very cool. And it looks natural. And the that's the good thing about all these mods is whatever they put in, it fits perfectly into the game and it looks like it's always been there. And if you have any plants to put in the world, they've got these planters. Not too many, but there's a nice little mix there. And they also have a few paving options too, if you want to create a little backyard area we'll put it on your front porch that sort of thing not too many options again but still it's nice it's a nice welcome next category to look at is props and these are tiny little things these bobbleheads are anyway so for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to be placing them on this tabla so this is great if you want to just show off the fact that you've collected all the bobbleheads even though you haven't you dirty little cheater because you're just putting them on there And from what I can remember, the detail on these is quite good. So it's pretty much the same as the bubble heads in the game. Let me come this way. So yeah. Or even if you just want to create a little bubble head. Uh, little bobblehead like scene or toy scene you can just kind of mess around with it oh look at them oh, they look cute all the bobbleheads in the game and these are the food items that you can put out into your world squirrel bits potatoes squirrel lads fancy cakes you've got your insta mash your salisbury steak your classic sugar bombs potato crisps Melon, Blamco cheese, Insta Mash, your Buzz Bites, Blood Leaf, all of that goodness. You just can't eat it. But it looks nice. And that food paste has always freaked me out because it looks like an anus. There's all your drink props. Great for a bar build. Your meat props. Great for setting up a butcher's stall. And it's the same for the chems as well, the buff out, 
Jet, Mentats, Stealth Boys, Tim Packs, all the rest of those. You can place them where you want. Even let them float too, like that. And they're not actual items, they're just decorative pieces. But still a really cool thing to have in the game. And then you've got your little robot kits if you want to make a little geeky shelf or a geek den. Nice and cute. So for the next category we've moved to Jamaica Plain because Jamaica me crazy. <laughs> Oh, car bonking. And it is the resource category. First thing is food. But I can't build it because I don't have any food. God damn it. So yeah, just imagine that's there, look. Tarberry things, potato, there you go, there's one, potato planter. But the rest, yeah, I need food. But you know what they look like, so don't worry about that. Then there's water coolers. Whoa, fuck. Water tower, which is mehusive. We'll put that anywhere. It's any room. I can fit that there. Another water tower. Fucking massive. And another water tower. Old timey water tower. Produces 100 water. Fucking hell, that's a lot. There's a few options for power. Fuse boxes. Oh, a fusion generator. Industrial generator, but the thing is these are actually functional and they actually do produce power and they don't sit there looking pretty These vault generators, well, they look fancy And then there's just a couple of miscellaneous things Whether that power armor station works or not I couldn't tell you without placing it, so hold on. Transfer. Well, but you can actually put stuff in it. Nice. And last but not least, the vehicles. And these are quite cool. Because once again, it's stuff that's already in the game, but they've refreshed it, they've refurbished it to make it look just like it was never touched by the wall. So stuff like this. And it's awesome. Great little selection of vehicles for you to place in your world. So you can create your own drive through, for example. Car parks, all just literally dotting them around like they exist, put them in garages. It's just a shame you can't drive them, that would be really awesome. It's a nice black one. And they even range from trucks to bikes. Even the Voltec van is available. They have boats too, which can be placed on land. Brahim, get out of the way. Bloody cow. I even have the swan, isn't that pretty? Well, fishing boat. Bit too big for my liking. Military vehicles too, APCs, tanks, vertebrates, utility vehicles, mega loaders, more cranes, tractors, tractor tills, crane bridge, and a train. It's fucking massive. 
So yeah, that about covers it. Hi guys, thanks for checking out today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now if you enjoy building as much as you actually enjoy playing Fallout, that is a must mod for you. Loads of different things to build, loads of customization options, just great. There are other mod videos for you to check out and they're on the sides as per usual. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video, as always greatly appreciated. Consider leaving a like if you found this video helpful and if you're going to check out the mod yourself. And as always, take care and goodbye.